Well, when I asked my Facebook fans what colour I should paint this popper, they said frog. So I've agreed to paint it in frog colours, and I've also agreed that I'm going to give this lure to one of my Facebook fans as my gift at the end of this. So I thought it was worth um, just showing this video on YouTube as well as on my Facebook page, and I hope you get something out of it. What you see here is that I've sprayed a base colour on the lure of uh, pearl white, and I've gone over that with a transparent yellow to give me the yellow colour that I want down the sides of the lure and also on the spots. And now I'm going over the yellow paint with a transparent blue paint, which gives me the green colour, but also leaves a little tinge of yellow down the sides. It gives it that realistic frog appearance. As you can see, those black lines are actually uh, Frisco tape, and I've marked the Frisco tape and cut it on the lure. I'm just darkening up a little bit on the back of the lure there. And then what I'm going to do is remove some of the Frisco tape where, where the stripes are because I want those stripes to be green, not yellow. I just want them to be a different shade of green to the rest of the lure. This isn't the usual technique that I use for painting this style of lure, but this is a one-off original lure. If I was doing more than one of these, I'd certainly make up stencils. There you can see the stripes on the back and just giving those a little bit of colour now with the transparent blue. And all that's left now is to remove the uh, frisket that's marking out the yellow spots and I'm just using the tip of the scalpel here to just lift the frisket up so that I can get the ends of it with my fingertips and, and remove it as you can see and obviously I'm going to speed the video up here because it takes a little while but I'm going to go down both sides of the lure and just remove all of those little pieces of frisket tape and you can see it leaves a nice clean sharp edge it's really um, you know, quite striking and gives good contrast with the green body of the lure. So once I've removed all the Frisco tape, all that's left to do is paint the black spots that go on the inside of the yellow, and that's my frog pattern complete. I'm going to go on and do that now, and I'll make a video of that and, and post it shortly, but I certainly hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please visit my Facebook page, uh, like it, and you'll get to see more and more of this stuff as I go along and do it and who knows you might perhaps be one of the lucky winners that gets to finish up with a custom wooden lure just for going on my page and telling me what colours to paint my lures. Hope to see you there. Cheers for now. Bye.